the prophetic lineage of Jesus Christ. This is 77 generations. In the Hebrew names of all of these people that you see in this list, they all have Hebrew meaning. That's the amazing thing about the Hebrew naming system is they're like sentences. They'll say something. So what I did is I basically said, this lineage is a picture of Jesus. That's what it is. He is the seed. I did it two ways. From Adam, through David, through Solomon, down through Joseph to Jesus. And then I did Adam, through David, over to Nathan, and down through Mary to Jesus. I would like you to just listen. Behold the power of our God. This is extraordinary. He will be the last Adam, standing redemptively in the place of another. The people of this earth are his possession, and for the praise of God, he has come down to make a way. When he dies, there will be an outpouring. His death will be as a weapon. He is brought low that he may prove powerful. He will bring rest and will be a resting place. His name will be famous among those who have been cut off from the breast and bound in the enemy's stronghold. For he calls them his possession. He will enter this earth as a tender shoot, as one from the heavenly region. He will divide even the closest friends. He will be a branch burning with resolve when he takes up residence here. He will be the father of a multitude, the chief of a mighty host. He laughs at the deceiver and supplanter and overcomes. He shall be praised, and the breach he will fortify and close and wall in. He is exalted, the royal seed who will crush the head of the hissing enchanter. Crush the head of the hissing enchanter. So now let's go down to the royal lineage. This is through David, down through Solomon, through Joseph, and to Jesus. He will be a covering of garments, and in him is strength. He will come serving to make wealthy his beloved and bring peace and enlarge for himself a people. He will say, Jehovah is my father. He will be harmed, but then healed, hurt, but then made whole. It will be said that he, God, has judged, and he, God, is exalted. He will prove the strength of God and the perfection of God. He will possess in his hand the power of God, and though he is forgotten of his people, he will prove the master builder and divinely heal them. And he, God, will set and make strong those who ask of God, those born in captivity. He will say, My Father is majesty. He will be raised up by God to be a helper, to be the righteous one. God will raise him up for God's praise, majesty, and splendor. He will be the help of God, a gift. And to the heel-grabbing supplanter, he will exchange out life for death and bring God's salvation. the blood lineage. This is Nathan down through Mary and then to Jesus. He will be a covering of garment and in his strength he will come serving to make wealthy his beloved and give the gift of God. He declares to those under the enchantment that they are his dearest object of care and that he will raise them up. He will be the giver of grace, life in exchange for death. They will praise God who hearken unto him and join to him in covenant. Those who receive the gift of God, the one whom God has exalted, will find the help and salvation of God. They will be sustained by God, be quickened, made awake, and made alive. He will be measured according to the king's divine oracles. He will be adorned as king. He will be a heavenly light unto all who ask of God and those born in captivity. He will heal and give grace. He shall be praised, for he gives life in exchange for death. To those who hearken the good tidings, he gives the gift of God unto the small. He is the bright light unto those whose eyes are fixed on God. He is a consolation and comfort unto the burdened. The gift of God is life in exchange for death. It's the violent action of the king in order to join in covenant. The gift of God raises us to heavenly heights and gives life and liberty in exchange for death and rebellion. It brings us God's salvation. of majesty. Mary's name means rebellious. Where will the seed of God be born? It will be born in a woman whose name is rebellious. This is amazing. Eve, she rebelled. She ate of the fruit. She turned against the word of God and she rebelled. What does Mary do? Mary is the true woman 
was born in. But her name means rebellious. And yet God in this whole thing rectifies that which was wrong in the garden. He uses a woman and corrects it all. We are the bride of Christ. Be it unto me according to thy will. And we turn and believe. And then the life of God is born in us, in the rebellious. And there is redemption that is brought. And that which comes forth out of the rebellious is pure and holy and righteous. He is taking that which went wrong and he is restoring it in and through the womb of a woman. And by the way, we are to be that virgin in which the life of Christ is born afresh. We are to be the habitation of God through which the seed, the fruition of God comes forth into this earth. Yes, we are the rebellious. But we have the privilege of giving rise and life to the Messiah and saying, I, the rebellious, need what you, the perfect, have done to restore and to rectify and to redeem that which the enemy has destroyed. I turn to you. I want us to stand back in awe and wonder at the majesty of our God. Yes, it's impossible, but he loves the impossible. And he has done the impossible all over again. In and through us. never changes. He is and he will always be. He is who he is. That's what his name Jehovah even means. means I am. Yahweh means he is. He's God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is. He is. Judge, Creator, Yahweh, Lord, Jehovah, El Elyon, the Most High God, Adonai, Lord, Master, El Shaddai, Lord God Almighty, El Alam, the Everlasting God, the God of Eternity, the God of the Universe, the God of Ancient Days. He is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide. He is the Shiloh, the Peacemaker, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals. Jehovah Nissi, the Lord my banner, the Lord my miracle. He is Kana, jealous. He is Jehovah M. Kadash, the Lord who sanctifies you, the Lord who makes holy. He is, he is a star. A scepter out of Israel. The accursed of God. The captain of the host of the Lord. Jehovah Shalom, the Lord is peace. Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of powers. The rock of my salvation. My salvation. He is the light of the morning when the sun rises, a morning without clouds. He is the day's man. The interpreter. My rock and my redeemer. He is crowned, the crown of pure gold. The most blessed forever. 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 He is the forsaken. The worm and no man. He is Jehovah Ra. He is my restorer. The king of glory. He who sitteth king forever. He is a stranger and an alien. My strong rock, my rock and my fortress. Fairer than the children of men, the rock that is higher than I. The rock of my strength. The rock of habitation. He is as rain upon the mown grass, as showers that water the earth. The rock of my heart, the, the shield. shield. The rock of my refuge. The king and priest after the order of Melchizedek. A brother born for adversity. The friend that loveth at all times. A stone, stone of grace. grace. A friend that sticketh closer than a brother. He is his ointment poured forth. My well-beloved. A bundle of myrrh. A cluster of henna blooms. The rose of Sharon. He is the lily of the valley. The lily of the valley. The chiefest among ten thousand. His countenance is as Lebanon. Yea, he, he is, is altogether lovely. lovely. He is my beloved and my friend. He, he is holy, holy, holy. He's a sanctuary. The great light. A son given. The mighty God. The Father of eternity. He is a child born. The, the Prince, Prince of, of peace. peace. An ensign of the people. The nail fastened in a sure place. 
A strength to the poor. Strength. A strength to the needy in distress. A shadow from the heat. A refuge from the storm. He is the rock of ages. A crown of glory and beauty. He is a stone. A triad stone. A covert from the tempest. From the tempest. He is as rivers of water in a dry place. As the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. As a hiding place from the wind. He is the king in his beauty. My leader, the everlasting. The everlasting God. He is mine elect in whom my soul delighted. He is a light of the Gentiles. The covenant of the people. The polished shaft. Glorious. He is the Holy One of Israel. He is a man of sorrows. Despised. He is rejected. He is stricken. stricken. Smitten. He is wounded. wounded. Bruised. He is oppressed. He is my portion, portion my, my maker, maker, my, my husband. husband. He's the God of the old earth, the witness to his people, a leader, a commander, the redeemer. He is mighty. He is my physician. Jehovah Sid Canoe, the Lord our righteousness. David, their king, their king. My resting place. My feeder. The plant of renown. Jehovah Shammah, the Lord is there. He is the prince of princes. The Messiah. The prince, the strength of the children of Israel, the, the hope, hope of, of thy, thy people. people, the ruler. He is king over all the earth. He is a refiner's fire, fuller's soap, my refiner, my purifier, purifier, the son of righteousness. He is Jesus, Yeshua, salvation, Emmanuel, God with us. He is born as the king of the Jews. He is a governor, the Nazarene, the, Nazarene. the bridegroom. He is meek, lowly. He is the one of whom the Father says, My beloved, in whom my soul is well pleased. The Son of the living God, Jesus the Christ, the, the Rock, the Builder, the Prophet of Nazareth. He is betrayed, betrayed mocked, crucified, the Holy One of God, my brother, the Carpenter, and his life is a ransom. He is the Son of the Blessed, the Son of the Highest, God my Savior, the Horn of Salvation, the day spring from on high. A savior, which is Christ the Lord. The salvation of God. He is the glory of thy people Israel. Lord of the Sabbath. My healer. The Christ of God. My servant. The chosen of God. He is risen. He is risen. A prophet mighty in indeed, indeed and word. He is the word. The word that was with God. The word that was God. The light of men. The true light. The word that was made flesh. He is the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father. The Lamb of God. My teacher. teacher. The gift of, gift God. of God. He is Messiah. The bread of God. The bread of life. He is my meat. My drink. The light of the world. The door of the sheep. The, the good, good shepherd, shepherd that, that laid down, down his life. life. The scent of the Father. He is the resurrection. The king of the daughter of Zion. The corn of wheat. He is the light. The light. My Lord, Master. My example. He is the way, the truth, the life, the vine, scourged, crowned with a crown of thorns, crucified as the king of the Jews. He is exalted, glorified, the holy one and the just, the prince of life, the anointed, the prince and his savior. He is Lord Jesus. He is Lord of all. The judge. Jesus of Nazareth. The mercy seat. Jesus Christ, our Lord. He is the firstborn among many brethren. Over all, God blessed forever. Lord over all. The deliverer. deliverer. Lord both of the dead and living. The minister of the circumcision. He is my wisdom. My righteousness. My sanctification. My redemption. He is the foundation. My Passover. The spiritual rock. The head of every man. The first fruits of them that slept. He is the last Adam. The quickening spirit. The image of God. His unspeakable gift. My peace. He is the offering. He is the sacrifice. The head over all things to the church. He is he that filleth all in all. He is a servant who humbled himself unto death, even death on a cross. He is the Lord Jesus Christ, the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature, creator of all things, the, the firstborn, firstborn from, from the, the dead. dead, the head of the body, the church, the head of all principalities and powers. He is my all in all. He, he is, is our Lord. Lord Jesus Christ himself. He is Lord of peace. He is our Lord of hope. He is God manifest in the flesh. He is the justified, the mediator, the righteous judge. The great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. He is obedient and his throne is forever and ever. And ever. And ever. He is and the ever. upholder of all things. The express image of his person. The brightness of his glory. He is Jesus Christ. Same yesterday, today, and forever. The shepherd of the sheep. The great shepherd that was brought again from the dead. 
He is the minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle. And his flesh is the veil which, which was wrapped in two. He is the altar, the offerer, the, the forerunner, forerunner for us. Entered even Jesus. He is the priest, the, priest. the high priest, the great, great high priest, the intercessor, the surety, the covenanter. He is the, the captive of salvation. The author and finisher of faith. The king of righteousness. The king of peace. He is crowned with glory and honor. He is the tempted, the merciful, the faithful. He is holy, harmless, undefiled. He is the separate. He is the perfect. He is my helper. The lamb without blemish and without spot. The living stone. He's a chief cornerstone. He is a precious stone. He is guileless. He is vile. He is the chief shepherd that shall again appear. Today, star, my Savior. He is the Word of Life. He is the Life. He is that eternal Life which was with the Father. He is Jesus Christ, the Righteous, the Savior of the World, the True God, the True God, the Advocate. He is the Advocate. The Advocate. He is Jesus Christ. He is the First Begotten of the Dead. He is the Prince of the Kings of the Earth. He is. He is the Almighty, which is, which was, which is to come. He is the beginning and the ending. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is the first and the last. He is he that liveth. He is the tree of life. He is the hidden manna. He is the faithful and the true witness. He is the Amen. He is the beginning of the creation of God. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the lamb. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. And her light was like unto a stone, most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city, and the gates thereof, and the wall thereof. And the city lieth four square, and the length is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, twelve thousand furlongs. The length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. And he measured the wall thereof, an hundred and forty and four cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of the angel. And the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold like unto clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third a chalcedony, the fourth an emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth sardius, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth a topaz, the tenth a chrysoprasis, 
the eleventh, a jacinth, the twelfth, an amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every several gate was of one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it, and the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there, and they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it, and there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination, or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life.